Um, first of all, you got to give uh, West Virginia credit. You know, those guys got better as the game went, uh, which is what a good football team's supposed to do. Um, you know, we didn't. I thought our guys fought hard in the first half. Um, kind of shot ourselves in the foot a little bit with some penalties, uh, some lack of execution. Um, you know, against a good team like that and a good quarterback, um, you, you can't give them a whole lot of time. I don't know how much pressure we got on them. They've done a really good job protecting the quarterback. Uh, he got away from us, extended some plays. And then in the, in the second half, the guy made some throws, made some throws, made some catches. Um, you know, and, and we got to find a way to get them out. Uh, so what went from being a, a very close football game, uh, basically with a little bit lack of execution and execution on their part, um, you know, gets out of hand just like that. And that's what happens when you got a team that's, that's very well coached, uh, that's got a good trigger man, knows how to protect, um, and he knows what he's doing with the football. You know, does a great job. You can disguise and try to muddy the looks all you want. The guy's got a lot of experience, and he's got some really good receivers on the outside that made some plays. Um, but offensively for us in the first half, um, really shot ourselves in the foot. Those guys done a really good job mixing up the looks, stemming around. Um, way too many negative plays, too many negative plays and um, got behind the down and distance. You know, I thought our guys did, you know, punch it in, put a good drive together there for 17 plays at one point, got us back in the football game, and done some good things as the game went. There was a lot of positives, a lot of positives. But the most important thing is is, is who wins and loses the game, okay? Um, you know, and, and we didn't win today. West Virginia did, and, and they deserved to win. So, but I'm going to look at our football team, um, and I'm going to take the things that we did well, and there's lots of things that we did well. Um, probably one of the biggest problems that we had is we were inconsistent, and we've got to be able to do that. If you're going to be a good football team, can't make mental mistakes. You've got to play with good technique. Uh, you've got to do a good job communicating. Um, so we, we, we've got some things that we can go back and, and build on. You know, If we'd have won this game, we'd have been 1-0. Okay, what does that mean? means we're 1-0. We, we lost it. We're 0-1. All right? Um, I'm not real happy about that. Uh, but, hey, somebody's going to lose, and unfortunately today it's us. So we can either waller in it or we can sit here and figure out a way to, to make us better. And I think that's what our guys will try to do. Coach, first, first I saw Will Greer, your impressions of, of him, and did he live up to all the hype you've heard? You know, I'll tell you something about him that didn't really impress me is he didn't – our offense kept the ball in the first half, okay? So I think we had like 20 minutes to their eight minutes in the first half, you know? And, and um, I thought he'd done a really good job um, not being impatient. He let the game come to him, um, which shows maturity, uh, shows that he's very well coached. And when he got the looks that he was looking for, he took advantage of it. And he executed, and those guys done a nice job. They made a couple of really nice catches, great throws, nice catches into the right coverage, you know. Wow. To answer your question, he's really good. Coach, you, you play a bunch of freshmen in the secondary. When, when they, you know, in their first college game, when they get a look at a player like that in Will Greer, just you know, how much can they benefit coming out of it once you can you know, show, show them the tape? Well, um, we played some young guys. And those guys deserve to play. They've, they've performed the best in fall camp. Um, you know, and they've done some good things today. But there's lots of lessons that they got taught today, too. Um, and that's, that's part of football. That's part of growing up. Uh, I knew this would happen. But I also know in October they're going to be a lot better. Uh, so, you know, they got to learn from it. They got to grow up. And uh, I think they will because they're made the right way. So I got to do a better job of coaching them too, you know. Put them in a couple of bad spots, and that's my fault. And I'm, I'll help them out a little bit more the next time, hopefully. Patrick and David Kahn. Jeremy, you know, in the first half, I think one of the positives probably was that, that long touchdown drive. You didn't look like you hesitated on, on the fourth, fourth and goal at the one to go for. Kind of what was your thinking there? What was your – are you trying to send a message there out uh, of your team? Well, um, you know, it's, it's like – We've talked about we're we're not here to run a sprint. We're here to run a marathon, and we're trying to build a culture, and we want to be an aggressive team. Um, 
that plays to win. And the ball's fourth and goal on the one. You're down 10 to nothing. It started on the one, and after three plays, we were still on the one. So it might have been on the two. So if you can't get it in from there, it don't say a whole lot for you. So we got to build our confidence and, and, and be more physical. And heck, you ought to be able to get one yard in four plays. David, then uh, Blake. Uh, Jerry, what's your instant evaluation of Tim Jordan's performance? Well, I thought I thought our our runners ran hard. Um, you know, there there was a lot of a lot of penetration um, with their D line. Um, they they gave some different looks and stemmed around and done a nice job, which is what they do. Uh, and they do a really good job at it. Um, so the whole deal going into the game, we talked about staying out of negative plays. You know. Uh, for the most part, our guys did at, for, at running back. You know, when they were given a chance, um, they did. So Tim's got good hands. He's a good competitor. Um, you know, he's a good special teams player. So um, it, it didn't surprise me the way he played. Blake and then David Oven and then Wes. Jeremy, why did uh, Jared earn the opportunity to get today's game, and, and what did you think about the way he played? Well, I, I think that <coughs> – both guys, um, talking about Keller, they both deserve to play. You know, they've worked really hard in camp. It's been a really close uh, battle between those two guys, and um, and Will McBride. Will's done a really good job too. Um, but you know, Jared is probably a little more athletic. And last week, he's had a maybe just a little bit better. Um, probably practices. Um, not take nothing away from Keller, but. Uh, I told both of them, you know, we, we're going to need both of them to play. Um, and I told Jared, I don't care if you throw your 24 for 24 in this game the next week, Keller Christ is going to play. We need to play him uh, to give him an opportunity to create some, uh, uh, just a backup quarterback or, you know. Um, so that's what we'll, we'll let him play some this next week. Uh, you know, you kind of go into a game like this, you don't want to say, well, I'm going to play you the third drive. Well, what if the third drive you got the ball in the minus one, you know? Uh, so we felt like it was important to to give ever who we decided to be the quarterback a chance to be the quarterback, not to look over the shoulder. If they, if they start slow, they got a chance to rebound. And, um, you yeah, know, I think Jarrett did. I think he did. Uh, I thought he kept his poise. Which is important for a quarterback, you know. One thing about a quarterback, it takes a lot. It takes ten other guys around you, all right, to execute on a high level to give you a chance to have success. Um, but and there was at times today we didn't do that, and I did think he kept his poise and tried to play within himself. David then Wes. Andre, how did you assess what you got out of the offensive line tonight? Sorry, Dave. How did you assess what you got out of the offensive line tonight? <sighs> well. You know, there's some runs that we hit in there, and there's some runs that we lost three or four yards on. You know, you're not going to be very good in this league or in any league when you run the football if you can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Um, so I would say inconsistent would probably be the best thing. Uh, there was a few runs in there that we hit up in there. Um, but I'll tell you about our old line, okay? And I'm, I'm not making excuses. All right? I'm just going to tell you the facts. All right, Trey Smith has practiced for eight days, okay? He's 19 years old, okay? Um, Jameer Johnson was not here in the spring. He played left tackle most of the time, and he played guard the last when Trey came back. Brandon Kennedy wasn't here in the spring. Chance Hall just started this, this uh, fall camp. Um, because we didn't know who these guys, if they were going to be back, we had to prepare like they wasn't going to be back. All right, so that means we had to play guys at a bunch of different spots. All right, well, when you do that, sometimes you don't hard, you're not hardly a unit yet, okay? I like our guys on the offensive line. I believe in them. I think the guys are hard-nosed. I think they fight. Uh, but we've got to execute a little better, okay? And I think as this season goes and those guys get to play together and kind of play the same positions over and over, I think they'll do that. I really do. West and Joe Rexrod. Jeremy, it looked like y'all were mixing up some stuff, trying to get some pressure on Greer, and just a lot of it 
what you weren't able to get to him a, a lot. Did that surprise you, sort of the lack of pressure you all were able to get on him? Well, they they seven man protected a lot, which is what they do, uh, which is smart, you know. Uh, and and they're committed to running the football. They run the football, so they're committed to it out of those looks. And if you put more up there than they can block, now they're playing you one on one. Okay, well you're playing one on one. They seven man protect, and they got wide receivers that can uh, create separation, and a quarterback that can put the ball on them. So. Um, you know, it's kind of you, you got to pick your spots about pressing them. You can't just let the guy sit back there. And a couple of times, you know, the first half we pressured a little bit and had some success. Now, I, lots of times it's not about hitting the quarterback. It's just affecting him, getting off him, getting him off the spot, moving him around a little bit. I think the big thing in the second half was third down. You know, third down and second long. I think uh, I think we were 100 percent defensively in the first half on third down. I think that's right, and I can think of at least two times in the second half that we that we had pretty good calls for what they did, and we didn't execute them. You know, so uh, got to fix that. Last couple, of Joe Marshall. Yeah, you guys score, make it ten seven, get the ball back. Did you feel like you had things flipped at that point? How big was that stop? I think you went to London twice there, didn't get it. How, how important was that moment? Can you repeat that one again? You guys score, got the ball back. I think you were about there 40, 10 7 game. I think you went London twice, didn't get it. Did you feel like you had the game kind of flipped at that point? How important was that sequence? Well, for us, based off the strength of their team, in my opinion, their offense, uh, even though their defense played really well tonight, I mean, they've, they've got some difference makers on offense. I felt like that we needed to be aggressive. Uh, that we needed to score touchdowns. We needed to find a way to win this game, find a way to keep those guys to field goes in the red area, which we did early in the game. And when we got down there, we needed to score touchdowns. We didn't need to kick field goes. So every possession was important to us. Um, but yes, I would say that, um, you know, that was probably a big part in the game. Final question, Marshall. Obviously, the result being what it was, but uh, you know, you look at this game as your first as a head football coach. Can you just go through, you know, the the game in general for you being, you know, having your debut from calling the plays to just being the head coach in general? Well, to me, the most important thing is how your team plays, uh, because how your team plays is tells you what kind of coach you are. Okay, their team played better than our team today, and that's on me. I got to get these guys to where they execute at a higher level, where they believe in their self, um, and I think we'll do that. So, um, you know, that's the great thing about playing these games. Um, you know, it's great. It's great for college football. It's, it's good for our program, um, and it makes you better. It makes you better. Uh, there's lots, lots of lessons to be learned for us today. Uh, the key to the drill is we got to learn the lessons and go apply it. Uh, but, you know, West Virginia had a fantastic plan, and they, and they played the entire game. They played 60 minutes. We played 30.